It's that Z, too low, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 it's that Z Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video it's going to be me and Ben Ares versus Talnoy Profi and Cap Mixon. Now before we start, please do give this video a thumbs up or a like and also subscribe on my channel and turn on the notifications to all notifications so that you won't miss an upload or stream from my channel. Now without further ado, let's jump straight into the, into the battle. <clears throat> okay, here goes. Map is now loading up. Alright, so I'm going to be the yellow player and uh, Ben Aris will be the red player. Okay, so we're going to um, fast forward a bit. Okay. Alright, so yep, a bit of lag right there was obviously uh, shown in here. Okay, so I got like a few containers and Ben Aris got this container right here. Hence, I'm stuck with a slow de base development, but I still have to manage... Okay, and then a scout on the blue player's base, hidden, hiding an infantry over here. Not much to see on this uh, green player's base, and here goes the scout of Binaris with this uh, one coyote. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so uh, this guy right here will go for a tr you know like um, a mix of both Zeus or ground unit and then vertex. Okay, now this guy right here going straight level 4 HQ uh, will go for two vehicle factories and two special vehicle factories. So, yeah. Now, on my end, to uh, have an answer to that, I will go for two vehicle factories and later on add one more. So, a total of three vehicle factories and two special vehicle factories. Now, Ben Ares uh, was uh, or is currently under attack by this uh, one Zeus. So this player tried to Zeus rush uh, Ben Ares, okay, this uh, green player, as that is a Stalnoy Profi. Okay, those Vertex are trying to be a pain also, as, you know, in terms of supporting that uh, Vertex right there, or no, that Zeus right there, however, is are, or are going to be uh, zoned out by the Porcupines and the uh, Anti-Air. Here goes the Hawk again, repelling that Zeus right there, though there's only one. There's also uh, one Jaguar right here. Gun tower being built for insurance. Okay. Mm hmm. So, yep. Those uh, missiles did not catch up to the vertex since it's, it was already on retreat. Okay. Now, on my end, as can be seen over here, I got like two vehicle factories now producing. Uh, yes, now producing. Uh, Jaguars. And uh, level 3 special vehicle factory is here as well. Okay. Now, let's see how this goes. Give me a second. Okay, here goes. Now, uh, remember guys that uh, some action are uh, going on over here. So, yep, going back. Special Vehicle Factory is uh, done. And remember that this guy will go full ground units, namely Zeus, Shield, and Typhoons. And this guy has Zeus, Vertex, uh, Mix. Okay, now there goes the third Vehicle Factory. Okay, so I'll be producing or mass producing Jaguars from three factories and uh, with also um, porcupines added. Okay, those uh, vertex tried to uh, attack my base. Okay, however, did not destroy that barracks right there. Binary is going here to help out. Okay, now let's see how this goes. Okay, one second. Okay, so to continue, here goes uh, two chameleon over here, and uh, jaguar of course. And as you can see, the that vertex are trying to scout my base as well as damage some uh, buildings. Okay, there it goes. Uh huh. So I activated the chameleon right off the bat. Here goes Ben Harris with the assist of uh, those uh, hawks right there, of course. Let's see how this goes. Oh, nice. Okay, was able to uh, destroy one vertex in the process. I'm going to move this rifleman over here. All right, nice, uh, nice position. Okay, now let's see how this goes. Still non-stop unit production of uh, jaguars and uh, chameleon. Okay, here goes uh, this uh, rifleman saw this uh, that one Zeus right there. 
All right, so there it goes. So this uh, blue player are, is uh, trying to move out in terms of attacking my base, but I have the uh, cliff advantage here, okay? So I'm going to have to try and uh, capitalize on that or take advantage of that. Okay, and here it goes. I informed Binaris about it, moved in uh, my rifleman a bit closer. There it goes. Okay, here goes Ben Aris with the attack. Okay, there's like few typhoons there, two shield generator, and a ton of Zeus. Here goes my Jaguars are already in position before those uh, Zeus and the shield generator were already in position. Okay, green the player is trying their, his best to uh, provide support. Okay, however, my uh, units are inside the chameleon fog. So, yep, that may prove to be a very, very bad engagement right there. Okay, there it goes. So Ben Aris is doing good with the uh, support. I really like it. Okay, he has or he will have Chameleon Jaguar himself. Okay, that's a very nice thing. And a second airfield on the way. Now let's see how this goes. And as you can see, two Chameleons that I got over here. Adding one anti-air of course because I will be moving out soon. Now I was also planning on having uh, Mammoths into the mix. Alright, there goes those uh, Vertex are like trying to fish out any units or buildings that it can kill or destroy. Oh, nice. He was able to pick off one anti-air at the exchange of one Vertex. That's still not a bad tra uh, trade. Okay, here we go. So, uh, the Zeus are trying to move into a position again. Oh, -ho! now going to try and uh, kill the infantry that was hidden right there to avoid being scouted. Okay, here it goes. I'm going to try and scatter my Jaguars so that, you know, those Zeus cannons will be uh, not so effective because the radius of the Zeus cannons are really, really good. Okay, so yep, there it goes. I had my uh, Jaguars in pos into a position to defend. Let's see how this goes. Now, this time the shield were activated before the Zeus came in to attack. Okay, here it goes. Let's see how this goes. And... Uh, a cyclone over here to see above the cliff okay but I do have my uh, Jaguars in a very good position above the cliff and are taking advantage of it and there here goes uh, that one assault will be killed oh that apparently that was a bait for the vertex to kill uh, to destroy those uh, Hawks but was an excess what what was uh, unsuccessful in terms of doing so now the uh, blue player decided to go into the uh, center of the map or the middle of the map hence I'm gonna have to uh, of course, I will have to relocate my army to where it best uh, can defend my base. Okay, apparently I do have an idea that this blue player will go over to the to Ben Aris' base. Here it goes. He has his own set of Jaguar Chameleon. However, this is not enough due to a uh, mixture of air and uh, vehicle. Okay, here it goes. Shield generator now activated, though that shield generator is supposed to be at the back of the Zeus. Here goes, I'm going to have to help out with the defense. I destroyed that one barracks that was obstructing my army. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so Ben Aris was in a very good position over here. Had the chameleon patrolling, uh, swinging back and forth from there and here. Here goes. So, some of the Zeus are force firing at this location, preventing my advance here. But I'm going to have to take that risk in terms of uh, attacking or pushing forward. Now, the uh, green player player also are attacking uh, Ben Aris onto this side okay and we're gonna have to sandwich this blue player's army in the middle of the map and as you can see part of the army are engaged with uh, attacking Ben Aris' uh, Jaguar and Zeus and then my whole army is here my chameleon uh, one chameleon got destroyed right there however I got like uh, two more chameleons right over here my Jaguar are in a very good concave right there to uh, destroy those shield and the uh, Zeus Okay, was able to take care of that with a very, very good engagement information. That's why it was successful. All right, but nonetheless, those uh, Zeus were still very, very tough. Okay, some of the Typhoons managed to take refuge in the Green Player's base. And then the, the rest of the Zeus here will be cleaned up by the Hawks from Ben Aris. Okay, that was a very nice defense right there. And then some of the Zeus of the Green Player that was attacking right here retreated into a formation where they can defend the base okay so I'm gonna have to move over to this location as Ben Aris mentioned that was very logical and at the same time as you can see I got like units non-stop mass producing um, Jaguars and chameleons okay though I managed to uh, somehow screw up the uh, 
boost. <laughs> okay, Avia production boost. That was a mistake. Okay, here goes the scout of uh, Benares. Okay, in terms of providing a support against those vertex. Now my main you uh my main uh, detachment is located over here and are going to attack in this location, distracting the uh, blue army, in terms of getting into this position. And I'm gonna have to attack also on this position. So this is gonna be a multi prong attack. Here goes the Zeus are already force firing before my army even arrived. Okay, no Thors just yet, so I'm going to have to take advantage of that. Okay, one of the Chameleons got destroyed, and this Chameleon is almost out of energy. But instead of, you know, instead of retreating, I'm going to have to fight since uh, without the Chameleon, the uh, Jaguars will be uh, picked up with the Vertex, or using the Vertex anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to have to fight it off. But still, as you can see, um... Bin Aris is doing very good with the support. Destroy the shield generator. Very nice right there. And oh wow, nice uh, vertex uh, control right there. And so I'm gonna have to take or uh, focus fire my unit onto that construction yard to avoid that building spam right there, which can prove very annoying. Some of my units are still here. I'm gonna have to retreat and uh, so that I can use them to fight another day. All right, there it goes. No more uh, building spamming for you, Mr. Blue, Blue Player. Okay. So, Shield and Raider are already here, but however, I got like my Jaguar in a very good position. Let's see how this goes. Okay, Bin Air is going to help out. Okay, so I'm going to have to retreat as those Zeus are getting into a good position. Okay, good concave right there. So, I'm going to have to retreat to avoid losing unnecessary units. Bin Air is doing his best to uh, destroy the shield. However, it's very tough. Those Vertex managed to somehow uh, provide a good support to the Blue Player's army. Okay. So I got another uh, detachment right here. Six uh, Jaguars now. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Was that was not able to activate on time. Okay. Was able to kill the shield generator right there. And again, I went back here to press on the attack. However, my chameleon got uh, you know got killed. But those Zeus are without a shield generator. I'm gonna have to micro this chameleon to my heart out to survive. Okay. Here it goes. Let's see how how this unfolds. Okay, oh man, please survive. Oh, okay. Nice. I really like how this uh, blue player is playing. He's a very good player. It's just that he lost that big engagement right here. Hence, he is a bit of a, uh, at a disadvantage. Okay, so uh, here goes. The green player is also moving out. Okay, and... Uh, Ben Aris managed to somehow uh, detect this army that was coming from the green player and are going to retreat at the moment. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have to maximize my advantage here in terms of getting, uh, you know, like destroying the base of this blue player. That would prove very, very useful. Okay, Ben Aris taking the uh, the center of the map, taking advantage of it. Okay, getting that position would be very, very essential. Okay, oh man. Mm-hmm. Let's see how this goes. Non-stop Jaguar reinforcement on my end. And as you can see, non-stop Jaguar production. Here goes one Hawk Scout to see if there will be any space system shenanigans. Nothing of that sort. Okay. Okay, so meanwhile, this uh, blue player's base is as good as dead. So he's just trying to save up his resources. I wonder why he did not cancel that unit that are in production right there. So he can, uh, you know, save resources to reconstruct later on. Okay, here we go. So, I was able to um, subdue this base or destroy his base completely. Okay, or are in the process of doing so. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, there it goes. All right, so no more HQ. That those vertex are trying to fish out any attack. Or oh man, <laughs> this I believe was Miss Micro. Ah. Oh. Okay, so again, those vertex are still trying to be annoying. Aw, oh, man, was able to kill or destroy my chameleon. However, at the expense of that, I was able to dispose of this blue player space. Okay, here we go. So the hawks are trying to chase out those vertex and are now going to retreat. Okay. Ben Aris are here to somehow provide support in, term in terms of attacking this green player. Okay, I'm going to HQ level 5 at this moment. Maximizing my advantage in terms of base development, of course, I would like to go nuclear as this above, uh, you know, like this area right here is above the cliff and does have the same advantage as my base. Okay, so it's very hard to crack at this point in time. 
Okay, oh, come on, man. Oh, man, my chameleon is very, very obedient in terms of, you know, like, super smart chameleon. Okay, here goes. So, uh, we're gonna... Benaris is attacking in this position. My jaguars were left over there, not microed due to the lag. Thank you, lag. Okay, for, you know, <laughs> making my unit control bad. Here it goes. The jaguars that I got in the middle of the map are gonna be sent over here to help out with the attack. Okay. Oh man, I need to have my uh, chameleon move around. This uh, green player does have a shield generator as well. And I'm gonna need to use my jaguars here to scout ahead to see what the green player has. Okay, so not really much of a defense. My chameleon here ran out of energy. And so I'm going to use my jaguars to of course retreat as much as possible, saving as many jaguars as I could. And I'm, you know, I'm really uh, thinking, I thought that this, uh, or I was thinking that this blue player was going to try and come back into the game. So I'm going to use the jaguars that will be destroyed anyway to check out the blue player space. And there it goes. Okay, here it goes. So, uh, thankfully, um, fortunately, Bin Ares does have a hawk that may be able to dispose of that. Okay, and as you can see, nuclear is now going to be uh, built. Again, the unit are going to be produced non-stop on my end. Okay, so some detachment over here, three chameleons. That means forever fog. Here goes the uh, hawk. Going to try its best to somehow lay waste to that HQ that is uh, being built. Or was actually built already in our now level 2 HQ. Okay, here goes the scout of that vertex revealing my uh, nuclear now in production. Here goes the vertex. I'm gonna have to try and dispose of that, but not all vertex released a salvo. So my uh, nuclear is still alive. However, with that second raid, they actually killed my nuclear at the expense of some vertex. Okay, there it goes. Alright, well, that was that. Bin Air is doing a, a phenomenal job in terms of supporting and attacking at the same time. Very, very nice support. Okay, so at this point on, I'm going to have to decide whether I will have to produce more units or go straight to nuclear. Okay, because uh, this uh, green player is not losing anything at the moment. So he can micro or develop his base to a level 5 HQ and have space system that may actually... Uh, give us a very big trouble and as you can see those stores he already has stores now switch to air raid boost before those Thor bombing uh, before those Thor bombs hit okay Hawks are here for, to provide support nice interception there very nice and oh man those uh, vertex was not able to oh never mind okay yeah and what a nice dogfight right there very good <laughs> I love that scene okay so here goes, we're going to have to uh, fast forward a bit. Additional anti-air will be provided or built from Ben Ares and he is now going to move into a position to attack. Oh man, those Thor bombing runs were, a bit by off, were off by a bit of cells away from the army that was marching. Okay, now uh, those Hawks are trying to somehow uh, intercept the uh, Thor that was uh, used to attack. Vertex still trying to somehow uh, snip out some units that are outside the cover of the fog. I'm going to use this uh, small detachment that I got over here okay, to attack the blue player's base to prevent this guy from coming back into the game. Okay, so yep. Oh man, that, ja that Zeus is badly bruised up. Okay, here goes. Let's see what this uh, blue player has. Okay, level 2 HQ. Alright, that's a priority since uh, level 2 HQ allows you to have 3 or 5, actually 5 supply centers. And here goes. So I'm going to have to take care of that. Destruction yard. Okay, meanwhile, Bin Ares is going over here. Okay, ooh, nice interception there. Very solid hit. I love it. Okay, nice. Okay, now let's see how this goes. Nothing crazy so far. Just me laying waste to this uh, blue player's base. It's just that I'm moving my army around to avoid any Thor bombing runs as the Thors are already present here. Okay, meanwhile, I'm gonna have to rebuild my nuclear right there. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so uh, I camped here for a bit. And then I'm going to have to move around. Okay, since there are Thors. And as you can see, I timed it perfectly. And... <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to have to move around where they don't expect me to move. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it goes. Thor bombing runs. Okay. Just missed it. Oh, man. 
If I had not moved my army, it's gone. Okay, here goes uh, Benarius trying to fish out some units. For the Thors. Let's see how this goes. Oh man, those Thors are those Vertex. Close to scouting my uh, base right there. Okay, Benarius moving out here. Okay. So, uh, oh man. A bit of my Miss Micro and the Hawk there. I believe it was lagged though because uh, the, the game here was laggy for a bit. Okay, so he has to retreat as he only has three Jaguars here. He can only uh, provide a... Uh, you know, like, uh, to buy time is to use those, to have those Thors bomb his army instead of my base. Okay, here goes. Nuclear are now in production. Let's see how this goes. Okay, he'll also go level 5 HQ. He, uh, Green player trying to use the Vertex to fish out some units. Okay, however, the Thor just, uh, are now going to refuel again. And I'm gonna have to move my army around. Of course. Okay, let's see. He's going to move into a position to buy time. Okay, to occupy those uh, Vertex. And, oh, wow, one Vertex are over here that was meant to scout, I believe. And, oh, yes, it will be scouting. And my nuclear is almost done. This can be seen over here, 20 seconds. Okay, he's going over here. Okay, and I'm going to have to move here. Oh, man, what a solid bombing run. Okay, that was a good bombing run, though. I actually forgot that there's like an anti-air that can see my army from below the cliff. <laughs> That's my bad. Okay, my mistake. Alright, here goes. Nuclear are now going to be launched. And I'm going to launch it where there's like tons of those avia. Hence taking care of them. Okay, let's see. Alright, nuclear has been launched. Okay, Vertex and Thors are here. Bam. Nice. Okay. Now those doors are vertex are trying to somehow uh, damage my unit and the Thors right here as well. However, they already called in the white flag and are destroying their own buildings as there is actually nothing to contest my base and Ben Ares base. All right. Well, GG for that battle. And again, if you'd like the video. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what are your thoughts into this video, and also leave a comment down below what are your thoughts into this video, and thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye now!